Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I'm here with another video on exercise 2.1 from Introduction to Euclid's Geometry. So till now we have completed the uh, fifth question and today we are going to complete with the uh, next question, sixth and seventh one. So before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new videos. Okay, so here you can see the sixth question in figure 2.2. So this is your figure 2.10. If your AC is equals to BD, then prove that AB is equals to CD. Then you have to prove prove that your AB is equals to CD. If your AC is equals to BD, okay. If this your AC is equals to this BD, then you have to prove that AB is equals to CD. Except this part, you have to prove this part is equals to this part. So as solution, you can see here already we got one term here that is AC is equals to BD. It is already given. So what we are doing is AC. AC is nothing but it is combination of two partitions that is A B plus B C. So when you are adding A B plus B C, you are getting A C. Okay. So A B plus B C, which is equals to B D. So what is B D? B D is equals to B C plus C D. So B C plus C D is B D. So what you are going to do is subtract B C. You can see here B C is on the both side. So what you are going to do is you are going to subtract B C from both the sides. So after subtracting B C, what you are going to get A B is equals to C D. That's what you needed. A B is equals to CD okay so this is about the sixth question and the last question here is and the last question here is why is axiom phi in the list of Euclid's axiom okay why this axiom phi is in the list of Euclid's axiom considered a universal truth why it is considered as an universal truth note that the question is not about the fifth postulate it is not about the fifth postulate the question is about the Euclid's fifth axiom so what is the Euclid's fifth axiom it is nothing but the whole is greater than the part okay so for example if I give you you can see this is a, a hole okay if this is a circle this is a hole if you are taking out some part from this okay if you are taking out some part from this even then you can see if you are taking out one fourth part of this this is one fourth part then the remaining will be three fourth part okay which will be greater than one fourth part okay so like that only we can say if your whole uh, world map is taken and from that world map, if you are taking our country, that is if you are taking India out, then also you can say that the whole world it will be greater than the area of your India. Like that only it will be true in all the conditions. So you can say that as axiom phi is true in all the conditions, hence it is considered as a universal truth. So for this reason, we are considering it to be a universal truth okay so that's all here so i hope it is cleared here okay so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel i have seen 90 percent of my viewers are not my subscribers okay so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so i'll be back with that video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you